Peter Winterflood, lovely to speak to you. Tell me a little bit about your experience and what you've done in the past. Yeah, sure, Stacey. I've been in banking for almost 33 years. So spent my time with major banks, um, predominantly here in Australia, but a little bit overseas. Finished up as a uh, state manager of a, a major regional bank at the end of 2011. Decided I'd do something a bit different. And rather than um, uh, continue on in banking, I thought I'd move over to the other side and uh, help people deal with their banks, so provide independent advice, leverage off, I guess, those years of experience and the contacts I, ha contacts I had, uh, and you know, provide independent advice and, importantly, sort of giving people an insight into what's really going on. Peter, you offer debt mediation services. How is that pertinent to the rural sector? Um, I think, you know, generally there's a, a better level of, of education about things, but it's such, you know, a fast moving environment and there are so many different things, whether they be, you know, exchange rates, commodity prices, you know, climatic conditions as a whole. There's so many challenges that have to be dealt with. Um, I think that there's um, um, a need for more and more external advice and I think it's almost impossible to be across all those things and be aware of what's happening without having at least some professional independent advice um, being being utilised from time to time. It doesn't matter whether you're, you're the best producer or you know someone who's new to the industry. You know, um, everyone needs some ex external advice. You obviously deal with people who are having a few problems with their bank or who are in a, a bit of trouble. What do you think, in your experience, are the biggest mistakes that people make when they're dealing with their bank? Being in denial and, and, and stopping the communication and, and hoping that things will just resolve, be, you know, get resolved when you've got to be proactive. There is a lot of talk about debt in the primary industries at the moment. Just how much is out there? Look, it, it's not necessarily about the debt per se. You know, it is more about um, you, the serviceability aspect. Um, it's about equity. Um, and what has happened traditionally is that banks have probably unwittingly, um, uh, you know, encouraged people or allowed people to take on more debt because when there have been tough times, um, rather than taking more, I guess, um, drastic action, if you like, banks have tended to increase their facilities because they've had a buffer between the asset values and where the debt lies. And you've had a situation over recent years where the debt's continued to increase, but that buffer has been eroded because the value of the asset, the value of the property, has actually come down because of, because of market forces. So you've had that squeezing, which has brought much more attention to the debt. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's about the viability, it's about debt as a factor, but it's, with interest rates as they are, being relatively low, um, it's more about the servicing than it is just about the quantum of debt. Peter, of course, we're delighted to have you as one of our key speakers at the Bill of Wheeler 360 series. What are you going to touch on in your address? It, it really is a, a, about people, I guess, having a look at their situation. And, and something of a reality check and, and just sort of, you know, thinking about their situation, uh, being aware, being made aware of the options that they might not have been, you know, previously privy to and getting some pointers as to, as to how they can go about improving the situation uh, regardless of where they might uh, see themselves at the moment. There's always something that can be done.